I'm Peter Block at TCT in Washington, D.C., and with me is Ewald Christensen from Denmark. Uh, we've talked about the Excel study, and I interviewed Greg Stone, the left main surgery versus stenting study, and now we have a second left main versus surgery uh, study, the Noble study. So, Ewald, tell me about the Noble study, a little bit similar to the Excel studies. Tell me what it was about. We randomized 1,200 patients to Cabot's and PCI, and we followed our patient up to five years and followed them for the composite endpoint of MACE, stroke, myocardial infarction, death, and the need for repeat revascularization. And we found that 29% in the PCI arm reached that endpoint and only 19% in the Cabot's arm. It reached superiority for Cabot's against PCI with this long observation period and um, if we should compare that with Excel, Excel followed their patient to three years and they did not include repeat uh, revascularization in their endpoint. So that's uh, some differences. And if we truncate our observation period to three years and take out repeat revascularization, it tends to be similar to the Excel trial. So Okay, so uh, differences in the trial that are subtle but nonetheless enough to make a difference, you think, for this five-year follow-up. I think the most important part of this may be the length of the follow-up compared to the Excel trial, which is two years longer. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think the observation period is of importance. Furthermore, in the initial part of our trial, we used first-generation stents. We used the cipher stent in 11% of our cases, and all these patients reached five years. The later part of our population had the biometric flex stents and they were not followed yet to five years. We had uh, up to um, nearly all to two years, but the observation period for the first included patients in the trial were five years for all. That could influence some of the late catch-up from three to five years. Because the late catch-up is primarily de novo myocardial infarction, isn't it? Possibly in areas that are de novo lesions in the stented patients. Yeah, and also target lesion failures uh, outside the left main. Okay, so two studies. Uh, Eval tells me they're similar. I think there may be a little difference between the two, but the differences may be explainable by the length of the study more than anything else, and possibly some changes in the stenting. Interesting studies, but the fascinating thing is that three years they seem to be about the same. Yeah. And if that's true, that would be reassuring for the stent folks, wouldn't it? You could say that it's very reassuring that the mortality is exactly the same. Okay. So it seems to be very safe, PCI yeah. seems to be safe, and Cabot seems to be safe. But the need for re-intervention is higher if you take the PCI. All right, so I asked Greg Stone the same question. If you had a left main and needed it fixed, what would you have, stenting or would you have a bypass operation? I think I would uh, have the stenting now because I can always postpone the bypass because mortality is the same in the two groups. So there you have it. Thanks, people. Thank you.